Welcome to day 3 of this 7 day course to learn Ubuntu. Today we'll be learning about the Ubuntu software app and then we'll learn how to prevent data loss. The Ubuntu software app can be accessed by clicking on the shopping bag icon in the launcher or by simply pressing the Windows key also known as the super key in Linux and searching for a relevant keyword. The app is used to find, install, remove and manage software. From here you'll see apps are organized in groups which makes finding software easy and simple. This is very similar to the Apple or Android app stores which most people are familiar with. In line with the open source philosophy of Linux, the majority of the software available is free to use and is open source. If the software is only a trial or is not open source, the details of the app clearly shows this. Before installing an app, we can see a summary, some images of the app in action and a short description. In the details section at the bottom, we see further details like its version, its size and its source. Ubuntu stores its software in online repositories also known as repos, which are listed in the Software and Updates app. These are the official repos for Ubuntu, but you can also add other repos here. You should only add repository addresses in here if you know they are a trusted source. When searching for software, Ubuntu checks the official repos as well as those added here. Any software in the official repos has been verified and tested to work with your version of Ubuntu by its developers. Let's install the Only Office app, which is a free alternative to Microsoft Office. When we click the install button, Ubuntu goes to its official repos and locates the software, downloads it and installs it for you. We add it to the launcher, but we can also search for it using the super key. The app is installed and we can begin using it. The Install button at the top of the Ubuntu software app shows us all software installed on the system and we can see OnlyOffice listed as well. To remove OnlyOffice, we simply click the Remove button. A quicker way to find software you know the name of is by using search. Search shows us the results from the Ubuntu software app and this is a quick way to install only Office again. There's lots of apps to choose from but not all Windows apps are available on Linux. For example, Adobe applications are not supported on Linux. Fortunately, there are open source alternatives like GIMP to replace Adobe Photoshop for example. Later in this course, we'll be installing popular software for email, multimedia and gaming. The Ubuntu software app is easy to use and makes finding new software simple. Lastly today, we'll use the backup software, simply called Backups. This software makes it easy to backup your precious data by allowing you to choose the files and folders to save, making the process automatic. By default, my home folder and all its contents will be backed up. The only two folders that won't be are the recycle bin and the downloads folder. The contents of my home folder can be saved to a cloud location like my Google Drive or to a local location like an external hard drive. Lastly, we can decide how often my data will be backed up by turning on automatic backup. Ubuntu prompts us to install another package that's needed for the backups app. We can also set a password on the backup files which will be needed if we ever need to restore the data. This is recommended for security, but for this demo, I'll continue without setting a password. 
With these settings, my home folder and its contents will be saved to my storage location every week. This takes only a few minutes to set up, but may save many hours or days if your hard drive ever failed. If that did happen, you would install Ubuntu on a new hard drive and use the restore option to grab your backed up files from your cloud drive or your USB drive. Today you learned that finding, installing, removing and managing software is simple and quick to do in Ubuntu. You also learned about using the Backups app to make sure that your data is safe in case of a hardware failure. Tomorrow in day 4 of this 7 day course to learn Ubuntu, we'll be setting up email and using internet browsers. I hope you're enjoying this course and I'll see you tomorrow.